Hi guys and welcome back to another video on Honest Chain. We are back once again with one of our favorite projects, BlockTech. They had some amazing updates, so let's react to them. But before we start, as always, remember that I'm not a financial advisor and that I don't take any responsibility for your actions. Have that in mind and let us begin with the video. So welcome everyone, today we are diving once again into the exciting world of BlockTech, a project that's been making waves into the crypto industry. For those who might be new to this, BlockTech is a revolutionary blockchain technology that's rapidly gaining popularity among crypto enthusiasts and investors. One of the main reasons behind its rising fame is the high return on investment it promises with an astonishing 850% price increase already recorded. Now let's talk about the first keynote that BlockTech released. This was a groundbreaking moment as BDEC became the first cryptocurrency ever to provide a detailed keynote explaining its entire ecosystem and the first keynote generated a lot of hype by laying out the foundation of what BlockTech aims to achieve. If you remember, there were the card, the mining machines and a lot of stuff in there. Remember to watch our first video to see the first keynote and our reaction to it. And yeah, like I said, the keynote generated a lot of hype by laying out the foundation of what BlockTech aims to achieve. It covered essential aspects like the innovative technology behind BlockTech, its vision for reshaping digital transformation and the significant milestones they plan to hit. And if you want to know more about the first note and overall about the project, remember to check out the previous videos about BlockTech. But today we are here for something even more special. I'm thrilled to introduce you to keynote number two, a more technical version of the original keynote and this keynote delves deeper into the specifics of BlockTech's technology, explaining how they are bringing this one-of-a-kind tech chain to reality. The keynote just dropped, so let us check it out. Okay, so let us dive into the video. Welcome to our second keynote, brought to you from the moon. But before we get into that... Moment, oh, actually, I, I just saw the machine here. That is one of the, the mentioned in the first keynote, one of the miners. Very nice. But before we get into that, though, I wanted to address one thing. Most of you thought the last presenter was AI. So here's proof that I'm one... For real, people just thought that was AI. It was just a normal guy. 100% human. Ah, yeah, that's a very nice proof. <laughs> Today, we're delving into the release of the X1 app, updates on our blockchain, our all human team docs, global marketing updates, and our significant roadmap enhancements. Let's move a bit. Stay tuned to the very forward. end where we blockchain structures, DAG based proof of work consensus eliminates the, the need proof of work consensus is mostly what is interesting for us. So let us move By to this now. Multiple transactions to be confirmed simultaneously, thus improving scalability. By implementing a proof-of-work consensus mechanism with a directed acyclic graph, we ensure each transaction or event in the DAG requires validation through proof-of-work, where nodes compete to solve cryptographic puzzles in order to add new blocks or transactions to the graph. Okay, so the integrating of our POV with DAG is a pretty unique approach that could potentially offer the best of both worlds, security from the proof-of-work and scalability from the DAG. However, this comes with its own challenges, such as maintaining graph integrity, preventing double spending attacks, and managing transaction ordering. With BlockDAG, nodes must reach a consensus on valid transactions based on the cumulative proof of work done by preceding transactions, ensuring the security and reliability of the DAG. BlockDAG proof of work is integrated with Yeah, so just as I said a moment ago, the security and scalability. Transaction issuance conflict resolution, proof of work verification, and consensus establishment. This ensures the network benefits from the security guarantees of proof of work, whilst leveraging the scalability and flexibility of DAG structures to achieve high transaction throughput and fast confirmation times. This hybrid approach offers a promising solution for building efficient and secure decentralized ledger systems. Our DAG formation algorithm forms DAG by initially creating a Genesis block. Nodes then form their own blocks, referencing the Genesis blocks of round one. This is repeated infinitely with nodes referencing multiple blocks formed in the initial round. 
The DAG ordering algorithm consumes the DAG from the previous round and outputs a list of blocks ordered. Okay, that's a pretty amount. smart move, actually. This is achieved by creating an empty list once the DAG has been received. DAG traversal is then initiated in a breadth first scene with blocks ordered in some topological manner is just around the corner. And let me tell you, it's not just a launch. It's a seismic shift in the crypto landscape. So far, during our DevNet phase, we have concluded the development of our peer-to-peer -peer engine, block and DAG algorithm with EVM compatibility and MetaMask integration already on the way. Testnet is scheduled for mid-August, and once all bug fixes have been resolved, Mainnet is set to go live in the next Okay, four so the Mainnet launch is scheduled for the next four months. And this is something to look forward to. It's a pretty major step in the roadmap. That's basically the beginning of everything. But the testnet will be will be mid-August. So we have a little bit of time. We are fully committed to this strategic timeline while ensuring that every aspect of our platform meets the highest standards of excellence. We've already made significant strides, currently raising half a million dollars per day. Projections show that this number can go up to five million dollars per day. Whoa, that's actually, let us take a look at the graph. But currently raising half a million dollars per day with projections to hit even five million USD per day is phenomenal. It shows a strong investor confidence and demand. Remember that this is just in the testnet. Also it is it isn't really in the testnet right now. It is it hasn't even launched yet and it's still able to make half a million per day. So that really sounds pretty nice. This number can go up to five million dollars per day with pre-sale expected to finish in the next four months before the mainnet launch. This remarkable achievement serves as a testament to the growing momentum behind BlockDAG's mission to reshape the future of blockchain technology. In other exciting news, we can now announce that our exclusive partner will be Plus Wallet for launch. For ease of entry, we've increased our payment. Okay, the partnership with Plus Wallet is a pretty nice idea. I would say that it is a really smart move. It could enhance user experience and provide additional functionalities to the project. So overall, and let's say UI development. Allowing you to participate in the pre-sale using more than 10 payment options. With some of the most popular ones being USDT. Okay, that's Ethereum. actually what we've all been waiting for. USDT, Ethereum, USDT on tier C, BTC, Solana. So the most popular right now. And even Shiba Inu made it there. Oh, and Cardano. That's actually pretty cool. So you have lots of options here. Ethereum and BNB. Like every great project, BlockDAG is supported by incredible people. In the next three months, we'll be releasing a doxing video showcasing our 100% oh, yeah, human team. Oh yeah, we heard about the doxing and an upcoming doxing video showcasing the all human team is a fantastic way to build trust and transparency with the community. So you should all look forward to it. As well as a documentary focusing on the development of BlockDAG. Our marketing efforts, just like our X1 Miner app, have ignited global excitement. From influencer partnerships to community outreach initiatives, we've created a movement that transcends geographical boundaries. Through education, yeah, they're doing lots of marketing, events, so that's a really good sign. Engagement, we're building a loyal following that believes in the Block DAG vision. We have sparked a frenzy in the crypto. Okay, guys, that's all for now. We don't have time to watch the full video. I already skipped a few parts, but if you want to check out the full keynote and you should do so, all the links will be in the video description. So in this technical keynote, BlockTech unveils their robust technology that powers the platform. They focus on efficiency and scalability through the unique implementation of proof of work consensus mechanisms integrated in a direct acrylic graph. And this combination promises to offer enhanced security and scalability, setting a new standard in the crypto space. Moreover, the keynote highlights the numerous features they've developed, including transaction issuance, conflict resolution and consensus establishment. It also introduces their low-code, no-code platform for decentralized application development, making it easier for both developers and non-developers to create their ecosystem. BlockTech is not just about ambitious ideas, they are actively executing their plans. With the mainnet launch scheduled for the next four months and the testnet coming mid-August, their strategic timeline is set for excellence. 
and they are currently raising significant funds projecting to reach up to 5 million per day as their pre-sale expected to finish soon. With exclusive partnerships, increased payment options and upcoming transparency initiatives like the doxing video and the documentary on the development, BlockDeck is showing they are serious about the mission. So a lot is happening in BlockDeck. That's all from me for now. Remember to check out the full keynote for yourself to get a whole picture of everything. As said before, also remember to check out our previous videos of BlockDeck. Also remember to follow their socials. Of course, all the necessary links to the keynote and to the social media will be in the video description as always. Thanks for watching and till next time.